Okay, so let's do this experiment to measure the resistance of some graphite uh, on a piece of paper. So I'm just going to take my ruler and uh, draw a nice thick line of graphite. I'm going to go right to the edge uh, so I can easily attach something to it. This is a 6B. I'm just going to record that just in case that's uh, important. Um, and I'm also going to put some marks along this um, at maybe two centimeter intervals, just so I can keep track of where I am. Now, uh, to wire this up, uh, I'm just going to use a multimeter as an ammeter. I'm going to set it to 20 milliamps. I think that should be correct, but we'll see. And connect this to the positive terminal. out of the ammeter, attaches to the paper. And from the other side of the battery, I'm just going to use two more test leads. Oh. They do fall off easily. So you can see I've got my battery connected up there going to the ammeter. Now let's see what we've got if we do a few tests. Yeah, you can see I'm getting a, a current reading there. It's quite low, hundreds of milliamps, so clearly it's not very conductive. Um, I may move to microamps, see if the current isn't too big. That, that's better. Okay, so what have we got? At two centimeters, we've got uh, 140. I'm going to try a different, uh, let's try a B, let's see if we get a different result. Okay, I'd like to come back and do another uh, 6B, but I'm going to make it thicker this time. Okay, so after doing that, you want to make sure you've got a nice, even, glossy finish. Uh, it, should really, it should really look shiny um, when, you, when, it, when, you, when it plays in the light, it should reflect very easily. Okay. So this, I should record, is also a 6B. It's getting really flat. Um, okay. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and uh, plot all of these and show them to you, but you can see there's a huge difference. Um, just keeping this, the lead the same but making it thicker, you go from 140 uh, microamps to 695 just by making it thicker, which is really interesting. And of course, everything tails off the longer it is, uh, the greater its uh, resistance, so the lower, uh, the lower current you would expect. I've gone ahead and plotted these, and as you can see, we have the three nice curves for each one. Uh, the, the, the largest numbers are for the uh, 6B thick lead up here. Um, and you can see it's a really pronounced curve 
Uh, the other two ones, because they uh, started with smaller numbers, um, it's a bit harder to see, but I think you can also see that there's a there's a there's something of a curve there, which makes sense because remember we're dealing with Ohm's law. Um, we have uh, v equals i times r, um, and so when you're looking at the current, i is equal to v divided by the resistance, and it's this thing, it's the resistance that we're changing. So as we move along our pencil lead line, the resistance is getting bigger and bigger, and so the current gets smaller and smaller. But it, it'll never trail away to exactly zero because you're just taking a positive voltage in our case, 9 volts, and you're dividing by an increasingly large number. So this, this current never goes to zero, it just gets smaller and smaller. So what you're seeing is this trailing off of current, getting lower and lower, uh, but it'll never quite hit zero. Now the thing that I find quite interesting is the fact that uh, you get different resist resistances and results depending on whether you're using 6B pencil lead or B. Uh, so it would be interesting to repeat this experiment with a set of different uh, LEDs, just changing the lead type, but keeping the thickness of the line the same. It would also be really interesting uh, to do the same experiment where you just keep the lead the same and vary the thickness. So we just did very thin or one, uh, one line width from uh, a piece of paper. So definitely try doing two line, line, line widths, three line widths, uh, and see if that gives you anything, anything different.